Frankfurt Book Fair, the podcast. Hello and very welcome from Frankfurt, the town with the spotlights on China these days. International understanding at its best. East meets West, West meets East. This is our topic of today. Frankfurt Book Fair, topic of the day. When it comes to mutual understanding of nations worldwide, the Frankfurt Book Fair presents the ideal ground for that. Here, like nowhere, the chance of dialogue is present everywhere. Sharing topics like politics, education, culture and, of course, books included. This exchange is absolutely being asked for because, honestly, everyone has its own opinions. We wanted to know what people from Western countries and Chinese people spontaneously think of each other. A large country uh, which has succeeded in uh, modernization within a very, very short time, but which still has a lot of problems. Uh, nice people and uh, uh, also very strong economy. For example, Frankfurt is very strong. It's so strange for the European people, for uh, the Italian people, and this is uh, interesting for us, the China. A different place, different lifestyle, different culture make people different lifestyle but but there are many many common sense uh, between germany and the chinese uh, we're an artist agency based in london so we represent a lot of artists so we always find that they've got a good reputation for having very unique styling in art uh, You've done a great uh, job in the industrial civilization. Uh, the industrial civilization uh, basically changed the world. So this is what came to our mind uh, at first thinking. Both cultures have a long tradition of drinking tea. Europeans prefer pouring boiled water on the tea bag, while the Chinese tea habits, on the contrary, are very special. Jiang Qin is a master of the so-called Pu Er tea culture. She explains a refined ceremony where flat cakes pressed of green tea are firstly crumbled, scraped off. Then the tea is being briefly cleaned with boiled water. Depending on taste, this procedure might be repeated up to seven times. Hot water is poured on the outside of the teapot to prepare the right temperature. Then it is just steeped for less than a minute and the tea is ready to be enjoyed. Well, I think it might need some sugar, but if I get 140 years old, I don't care. Pu'er tea is said to possess legendary powers. This tea is great for the whole body, especially the stomach. It warms from top to toe, and consuming it daily even makes you lose weight. Another worthwhile facet of Chinese culture is the Beijing Opera. Twice a day, Chinese artists present the mixture of dance, chant and Chinese fighting skills on the plaza of the fairgrounds. The, the first place is to, to show what he can, like Kung Fu, like the, uh, the artist, the fight. And the second part is to sing, like Beijing Opera. They learned Beijing Opera from the childhood and up to now. They, uh, it's, uh, uses, uh, takes very long time to be able to make the Beijing Opera, about 10 years. But the artist should not only possess excellent skills in dancing, singing and fighting. The artists have to paint themselves and this is very time consuming. Actually, with a clothes and a face, he, uh, normally they, somebody needs uh, one hour. But uh, before he played another role, so he just need 10 minutes to look like this. Chinese tradition and droit de vivre in the middle of Germany. But this cannot hide the fact that China's nomination as a guest of honor to the book fair has caused much discussion. Discussions also amongst the numerous authors having come to Frankfurt. For example, the Canadian star author Margaret Atwood. Yes, I think it was a very good idea because you cannot have conversations with people unless they're part of your group. So I think bringing them in and connecting with them 
is actually a very good idea. We have actually interviewed quite many famous authors. Some of them you will be able to hear with our tomorrow's podcast. The topic then, big names and VIPs. And a forecast of our guest of honor for the coming year, Argentina. But still China stays the center of attention during this fair. Meeting East and West, knowing and understanding each other, learning effect, welcome. I'm just trying to learn the Chinese language <laughs> and I started a fortnight ago and I'm going on and looking for a new papers or new books here for learning the Chinese language. Yes, I know more now than before. It was very informative concerning the uh, print manufacturing in former times in China. Yes, and now about their um, print letters, their letters. I learned very much about literature and authors and it's very interesting. I can't remember the names, this is a problem. Mm-hmm.